Three times. Since this is such a low pitch, we got the next one. Oh man, Amy, if you're watching, I want to make you watch this, Amy. What's up, guys? It's Mr. Legit. If you guys have never been to my channel, I'm a roofer and I talk about roofing in the Portland metropolitan area. So we got a good video today. It's actually a throwback video that I found while surfing through some of my videos and my photos on my phone. Um, it's a it's a video on November 22nd, 2003, so it's about seven years ago. Man, and I remember it being super cold. Amy, if you're watching this, she was working for me at the time, and uh, she was super cold. The reason why I shot this video, because at that time I was actually, uh, I actually started the YouTube channel and I was putting a couple videos out, but I just couldn't figure out how to edit it, so I gave up. So if you're somebody that wants to be a YouTuber or an enthusiast, man, just press record. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. What I'm gonna be doing is just kind of watching the video and going over it with you guys and push and play and talking about it. If you guys have any comments, just leave them down below. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play with to this. So we're back out here. We got the two cut honey around the bottom. You can see there's water here. So you can look, you can see, so look at this water, man. So this skylight did not have a curb on it at all. It was one of those skylights that kind of went flat on a manufactured home. There was no flashing. This There was no metal on this. All they had was just, um, was just um, caulking. So it was pretty, uh, it was pretty beat down. We took it all apart, we cleaned it all up. Notice, notice how we prepped it all out. We even took up the vent up there because we, we wanted to make sure the vent wasn't leaking. All right, let me go back a little bit and show you guys this vent right here. So see that vent hole right there? That was one of the first things I pulled just to make sure that wasn't the leak. That way I didn't tear up the whole uh, skylight and it was the whole time the vent leaking, right? So um, we wanted to make sure. That so yeah. You hear how windy it was out there? Oh my gosh, man! I just want you—I I wish you guys could just be there. How cold? I mean, it was probably 35 degrees, but with the wind, it was—and this was like up in the mountains. It wasn't really in the city limits. It was in the mountains, like in the hills, a little bit. My fingers—I remember my fingers were super cold. Okay, and if you look. Matter of fact, look at the difference because uh, my friend Amy, she used to work for me and look how I'm wearing gloves in this clip and in the next clip, I'm not. That's because she was like, my hands are freaking cold, man. So I gave her my gloves, but check this out. All right, now that we got this curb built, the skylight's on to keep the customer warmer than what it already is. Blistering cold, not blistering cold. This, can't see your breath, but you got the curb on, skylight's on. Oh, it was cold. Skylight, we're gonna put on some ice and water shield, which down here is peeling stick. Since this is such a low, since this is such a low pitch, since this is such a low, and I'm like this, waving at her like this, I was like, since this is such a low, come here, Amy, since this is such a low pitch, because she was like drifting off, watch. She couldn't even keep me in the frame, man. Watch, it's pretty, it's it's funny. Let me see this again. Put you down here, this peeling stick, since this is such a low. Look, her shoe pops in. This is such a low pitch. Look. Three times. Since this is such a low pitch, we got the next one. Ah! Oh man, Amy, if you're watching, I want to make you watch this, Amy. That way, when you get snow built up, ice. But yeah, I had a dream. You do the math. This is a, this is a mobile home, so it's only a 312 up here. So take extra precautions. Look at that truck in the background, man. That is that old school truck, man. I had everything. That was my very first truck. It was a 2007 um, Ford F-150, which we do still have. I'm never getting rid of that truck. I'd rather paint it and rebuild it and lift it up rather than sell it. It's on all the sanitation, especially the skylight. Once we install this stuff, we'll show you guys how to flash it the correct way. Here we are back. We're gonna... So our our method of stopping was just push re stop record, even though we couldn't really figure out how to put them all together. But uh, so here here I am going to um, put on this ice and water shield. Now you have to do this especially if it is a manufactured home make sure you always do this uh, follow the manufacturer specifications to this but here we go show you guys how to put this ice and water shield on you always start from the bottom and work your way up so get this stuff nice and flat now we can see we can see it's nice and flat pull this people up so we can get underneath the machine huh? boom come up here like so let's cut the corner like one down. 
then you wrap this. Nice straight line. Pack the top so we can tighten it tight. Then you can do the top. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let this play through. Try not, I'm gonna try it um, to gonna be might be a little bit long, uh, long but super informative for a DIY I'm probably gonna label this how to you know what I mean like a how to reflash the skylight so it might get a little bit bored at times but uh, let's go ahead and um, get going on this Side out factor it on top that'll give you a nice straight line on the wood. Then stretch your corners like the other one. Nice and tighten the corners, bend it over. Get to get it tight off. Nice and tight. You guys can just hear that wind howling. I'm getting cold in here. It's like a hundred degrees in here. I'm getting cold watching this. out there. And if you guys are putting your 16 on there, but this ice and water sheet shield is key on a low pitch. Better check the view out though. So here you go, check this view out. We got it right on the river. We are right there on the river. For you guys that... Yeah, that's on the Washoe. That's how you do one side of it. The back is the same as the front. But you just do it on the back side. We'll get you when we start flashing. Here we go. This is when the magic happens. All right. So, uh, basically, what we did on the back was do the exact same thing on the front. So, you always start at the bottom, move to your sides, and then you put the back uh, you put the back on. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the big gap, but this is what they got on here. Hopefully, we get the next one. So, just take your nails, line them up to the corners. That easy. Your nails, they go right here, boom, boom. They go right here, right above the keyway. Got your little hand peeking in there, Amy. Good job. Uh oh, this one ain't gonna fit. What do we do? You just not, you just notch out where it's gonna go. You cut it, you make a little notch. You make a notch on both sides. Then you can kind of gauge, gauge up to where you, how, how much you think you're going to take off. In this case, it's about like four and a half inches. So what I do, come down to so what you thought it was, and then take out my side of the shingle.
Get up, not enough. I'd rather have. Yeah, so I'm cutting more. It wasn't enough. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me that good. I'm sure you guys will be able to, though. I'm sure you guys will be able to hear me. Um, but. Where did the nails go? In the keyway. Bada bam, bada boom. I still say that? You know what the deal is. I probably said what's the deal in here, too. Let me know in the comments if you guys want a shirt that says bada bam, bada boom. Bada bing, bada bam. Three by five. No, it's not galvanized. Three inches by five inches. This case, this won't work. So let me, you need to take it this way and do it like that. And if you come look at this down here, it's nice and perfect. So I could tell you right now, we need to add another line of shingles. Since this is covering, we need to add another line of shingles. And we need to bend this to 90 degrees. So we're gonna. Let's get this tucked underneath here. Nice and flat. We're gonna do the same thing. This side we'll just cut it straight off. So go down. And then boom. This one's straight down here. You know, it's a long time ago when you're using three tab shingles. I think like all the three tab shingles are burnt around here. Nobody puts nobody puts three tab on anymore. You want to leave your key right here. You got a one tab right here. Cut your one tab up. Slide your one tab in. Get your Nice Should be 32 and a half inches. We know you want to come over a little bit. So it's 25 and a half, but you want to give it a little bit more. So I know from experience that we want to cut a metal 32 inches. So cut your metal 32 inches. That way you're going to have a little bit of overlap. You don't want your metal end in here, nice and tight. But you don't want to So basically, yeah, I mean, so basically what I'm doing here is giving a little overlap, like I just said. Um, it is, the width of this guy is 50 or 25 and a half. So I was always cut to, I was always told to bring out 32 inches. You know, let's just get it to not leak. What I'm doing here is bending it 90 degrees, that way it... 90 degrees. You get the same distance on each side. So what I do is just kind of take your knife or something, scrape it or a pin or whatever. Put a nice little... Nice little mark in it. And let's come... And cut it like this, right to the corner. This one gets bent flat. This gets bent nice and flat. This one you bend across like this. And you just bend it with your hand, hand again. If you have some benders, you can use that too. Be nice and tight now, boom. Do the same to the other side. And you shouldn't Bullet. take that long to flash your skylight. This is bulletproof. It's not taking an hour or two. It should be done 20, 30 minutes. Same thing. Bend this down, get it nice and tight right here. Push out nice and tight, and just simply bend the metal across. Okay, now that we're set, time for nails. Boom. Put it down there. Put it down the other side. I like to put a nail right there. So I like to over bend the nails a little bit. I mean, over bend the metal. That way it gets. Use five by eight set flashings, which is five inches. It's not gonna come up all the way up. So you gotta you got bend it to the top. See that? Don't wanna over bend it. You start over bending it, your skylight won't sit flush to the curb. I'd rather have it a little bit under bent because your skylight's gonna come down to here. So no water, the odds of water getting up there are really slim. Plus you got eyes of water shield with your bulletproof. So this one, you wanna cut this about halfway or else your skylight won't fit over the top of this. So what I like to do, 
come down an inch. That way the water runs past this. You want to bring it down about an inch so the water shoots off the edge of it. Take this, give it a nice halfway mark. Take your snips like that, and then you could bend it over, bend it nice and tight like this. Slide it up, boom. If you want to get real technical, I mean, we can all do this, but you know, that way nobody trips over it, gets light and hurt. I could have cut the corners, I know how to do that. If you guys want to cut the corners, you could do that too. We're just doing it speed because I want to get out of here. It's cold and it's late. It's not going to make your roof leak, it'll be better for whoever's up here. So, look, see how tight that is? Nice and tight, guys. Nice and tight. Put the nail up high. Come on this side and check this out. So she, Amy's gonna go around because she didn't want to fall through the hole. Amy, you walking around there. Did you water, you're gonna have another sheet and she will cover now. I don't know why I switched over. I should have probably just... Take some goop. Don't forget about the goop. Stayed on one side, but sorry about that. See right here, this is where the water's coming in at. See the water's coming in right there. You're gonna push it nice and tight. And even we need a little bit more up in here. Oops, hold that. A little bit more. Wait, you can't have enough. Get your finger, get it nice and pretty in there. Put another staple. Boom. Like that. And then I'll show you guys one right here. One. Okay, look. That's okay. Look, if we go like this, it's not gonna work because we need some more. So we gotta take this off. That's why I didn't nail it. Cover that nail even. Cover that nail. Well, look, the whole nail's right there showing. Nice and high. Put your shoe on. Don't nail over here. Nail over here a little bit. You can even put one up there. Grab your next chin shingle. I mean, it's not rocket science, guys. Come on, boom, look at this. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Put your nail up high. You want to turn your shingle over too. That way you keep your pattern on three tap. So now we got a nice tap over here. Boom. I'm not gonna nail up there because you don't want the, that's where the water's gonna be. Take another piece of metal, bend it nice and tight. Keep it above the keyway. See this line right here? You wanna keep it up. We don't want it to hang down. Cause then it'll start looking trashy. Keep it up a little bit, above that. Get out there. This is uncut. This, watch this right here, right here where I'm about to bend this, and I won't even have to cut it. So sometimes if you over bend it or under bend it, if you look right at the top of that skylight, those are bent within like an eighth of an inch because I've bent this metal. I've done, I can't even count how many skylights, so I know exactly where to bend it. But just watch this, how fast I pulled it out. Look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> I, you, you know how hard that is, babe? You got a gauge on your gun? We can use the gauge, too. Okay. Not over bent, not under bent, every time. Do that. This one. We'll do the other side and we'll show you guys how to do the back bend. All right, so we're gonna speed this up real quick and move to the back bend. Are we did it? Okay, yeah. Just coming up, wrapping the skylight up, just getting the top. I don't. I realized we didn't show you how to do the other side of the last tin shingle. Here's your last tin shingle, kind of like your first one. Put it back there. You mark it. You cut it. When you make this bend, you kind of want to leave that little bump in it right there. What happens if you leave that bump in there? 
any water that tries to run over that little bump will kind of just kick its way out. If you look, there's a little tiny bump in there. See that bump? That little bump, actually, uh, the guy that taught me how to roof, I used to take it and hammer it out with a hammer. And then he was like, just leave that bump because you can look at it, that water will, we still put caulking right there, but it'll help kick that water out. So it's a pretty cool little trick that not a lot of people know about. So the water's gonna try to run in there. It's gonna kind of get its way out. At any rate, get your nice, you know, it's some high. Nice and high. Make your mark on it. You know, this Man, that wind is just howling out there. Yeah, it's so windy out there. So there was a staple under there. Make sure all your staples are out. You can kind of feel them. So line up your line up your top now. See, I don't have to. Line up your corners. So boom. That way it kind of keeps it up, the water will run around it. We don't want the water pawning right here. Okay, now time for the back. Point. How much was it? 35 inches. Oh man, I was wrong the first time. It's 35 inches. Now this one is this one. Yeah, 32 inches. See that? So what you could do if you're in the shop, you can just order 32 um, foot or 32 inches, pieces of 32 inches. And actually the supplier should stock just uh, pieces. Listen to that wind. I'm saying I'm gonna cut it a little bit off because it's a little bit too low. You guys can't hear me, so what I'm doing is, look, she's look at that. That tar's blowing off, so I'm cutting off the top just a little bit to make sure it does not sit over the, that curb. You cannot have this metal up over the curb. You can have it above the curb, but your skylight will not seat on top of the uh, where the gasket is and the wood. Yeah, that fits much better. Now you're making that half cut because you're gonna be bending it over. Come on, camera guy. Come on, camera guy, look down. She's getting tired and cold. There she goes. <laughs> That's hilarious. My hands are freezing right now. Pretty windy. Hands are freezing. Cameraman has my gloves on. Bend it over nice and tight. Tighten it up like that. Boom. Let's let's get up. Let's do. Let's make it. Let's make it uniform. Since we did the front, we got to do this. So I need to put some gobby on. This is how you put the gobby. Right. Make it in the corner first. Work your way up with it. Get a little bit fatty in the corner. Go up like this at an angle. So any water that just tried to run it, kind of kicks it off. Same thing on this side. 
So that's the only place you guys should be putting caulking is in the corners. That's it. Nowhere else. Caulking only in the corners. And technically, if you're if you, you it's good to have them in the corners, but I don't think it'll leak if you don't. But this is just bulletproofing it. The reason why you put that starter is so you have a nice little seal strip. It's not really to make it leak. It's just for something to that other shingle to attach to, but that it'll be fine. I don't know what the deal is. It's all about that legit, baby. Well, you, know, you, you want to take, you, you want to drill it. So now it fits nice and tight because we cut this up, cut it on this side. No water's gonna get it. It's gonna, it's gonna hit this, this, past the corners, run down. The water's gonna hit past. The water's gonna run out here and it's gonna run around this corner. These are the trouble spots. These corners. So if you keep it out of the corner. It's gonna run all the way down. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I sure enjoyed watching it on tape. It was super awesome and just watching how much I've grown as a person and literally how much I've grown as a man. Um, if you guys like this, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. That way you guys can get some better content. Leave, let me know in the comments below on what you guys thought. Uh, I know that one thing I do have to say is that skylight in the Portland area, we do do curb mounted skylights. And uh, uh, if you guys are anywhere else in the country, a lot of I know a lot of you guys do deck mounted skylights. So hopefully this uh, video explained a little bit on how to flash a curb mounted skylight. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace.